Hello everybody, welcome to uh, continue of uh, mathematics education and uh, we start with limit. Limit is uh, uh, limit uh, has a few expression and it is uh, neighborhood and uh, we are going to tell if k sorry if k equals uh, is a positive value and uh, uh, and also absolute block x less than k is if and only if x between minus k and k. This means that uh, absolute x minus a less than k is uh, also x between a minus k and a plus k. And here is This means that uh, here means that uh, you have x and it is a minus k and it is zero and it is a plus k and you have a, a, a you have an interval. We have uh, examples, absolute x minus 4 less than 1, then x is uh, 4 minus 1 is 3, and 4 plus 1 is 5. And absolute log absolute x minus 2 uh, less than 1 half, then x is uh, 2 minus half is 1 half, 3 half, and uh, uh, 2 plus half is 5 divided by 2. In that case, in this in this case, we are telling that if x goes to 1 in uh, radius equals 3, or, if, or equals to 1. R equals to 1 and it is that one. R is that and X goes to 1 goes to 4. x goes to 4 in that radius r1 then x is in that interval 
if x goes to 2 in or equals to half then x is in that interval now we are going to we are going to for continue education we use the alpha and beta are very little values positive values and the uh, m and n are very big values minus m and minus n are very small negative negative values And in this expression, x goes to a means that uh, x limit is a, but not equals to a. And it means too that in that interval it is a here and uh, x from positive and from negative x from positive and minus x from negative goes to a very close 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 We can also tell that x goes to a, then absolute x minus a, then less than zero and greater than one, and uh, y go to b then y minus b less uh, absolute beta and greater than uh, zero and also we are telling if x goes to an uh, infinite then x is greater than m and uh, uh, x goes to minus infinite then x 
less than minus m. And uh, And also we complete with y goes plus y greater than n and y goes to minus y less than minus n and y is f of the function. Now we are ready to define the limit we are telling limit f of x equals to l if x goes to a and we are telling and we are defining for each x in df there exists a y in rf so that absolute x minus r greater than zero and less than alpha and uh, and then absolute f of x f of uh, x minus l is less than beta and greater less than beta and here we are going to tell complete this for each alpha a very little alpha positive alpha there exists a little positive beta that when x goes to r in that little interval then f goes to l in that little interval To show this, to show this, we must uh, build this one, and we must uh, uh, do in such a way that we reach this one, and we approve that it is. Uh, Now we are going to go through an example. Example: uh, limits 4x minus 1 equals to 11 when x goes to 3. And we are going to tell that for each for each alpha positive there exists a bit positive beta um, little value x minus 3 between 0 and alpha 
then absolute f of x for x minus 1, 1 minus 11 is less than beta. But this is absolute for x minus 12, which is 4, absolute x minus 3, less than beta, then absolute x minus 3, then absolute minus 3 is less than beta divided by 4 then alpha is less than beta divided by because because beta is a very positive small value and this one is less than alpha then alpha must be less than beta divided by 4 then that expression is true We are going to another example. Limits x2 equals to 4 when x goes to 2. For each alpha positive, there exists beta positive. So that absolute x minus 2, 0, and alpha then x2 minus 4 less than beta but this is x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 less than beta which is uh, absolute x plus 2 absolute x minus 2 less than beta but uh, this one the maximum of this value is We are going to check this one, and it is uh, when x when x goes to two, then x is between two and three, then x plus two is four and five, then then here the max is 5 then this one absolute x minus 2 is less than beta divided by 5 which means that alpha we find alpha less than beta divided by 5 Another example is Limes x2 minus 2 divided by x divided by 2 equals to 7 and x goes to 3.
then we are going to tell when x minus 3 less than alpha then absolute x2 minus 2 divided by x minus 2 minus 7 is less than beta. But this one is x2 minus 2 minus 7x plus 14 divided by x minus 2 absolute and it is the and this one equals to x2 minus 7x plus 12 x minus 2 and this is x minus 3 x minus 4 then we have the then we keep this one absolute x minus 3 absolute x minus 4 divided by x minus 2 and we are going to find this maximum value of this sum. Then the maximum of this, it is maximum of uh, upper and minimum of uh, lower. And we are going to x goes to 3 with r equals to half. Then x is between 2 and half and uh, 3 and half. And x minus 2 between half and 1 and half. Then the minimum value of this, the minimum value is uh, uh, absolute x minus 2 mean equals to half. And uh, x minus 4 is minus 1 half and greater than uh, its uh, minus half. Then absolute x minus 4 absolute is half and one half. And the maximum value then absolute x minus 4 max is one half. Then this expression, this expression, then absolute x minus 3 multiplied by 1 half divided by half less than beta then 
absolute x minus 3 less than alpha less than beta divided by 3. Then we have find alpha that less than beta divided by 3. Okay. If you are writing and uh, I am going uh, quick, you can uh, pause the video and uh, uh, write and repeat in your, uh, in your. The another example is uh, the another example is the Lemus squared x two minus three x plus three equals to 1 when x goes to 1. Then for for each alpha, a very little positive alpha, there exists a very little positive beta so that absolute x minus 1 positive less than 1 then absolute not x2 minus 3x plus 3 minus 1 less than beta for this we are going to use uh, this one uh, absolute x2 minus 3x plus 3 minus 1 multiple by x2 minus 3x plus 3 plus 1 divided by x2 minus 3x plus 3 plus 1 which is x2 minus 3x plus 3 minus 1 divided by x2 minus 3x plus 3 and this is the x2 minus 3x plus 2 which is x minus 1 x minus 2 then we keep absolute x minus 1 and study absolute x minus 2 divided by this one and this must be mean and this must be max but x goes to 1 with the radius 1 then x is 0 and 2 and x minus 2 is 0 minus 2 then absolute x minus 2 is 0 and 2 then the max is 2 absolute x minus 1 multiplied by 2 divided by and the And when x in this area, then the minimum value of the minimum value of this is x zero 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 square three. Then uh, this one and the absolute 
squared x2 minus 3x plus 3 is absolute 3 and it is squared 3. Then, and this one is less than beta, then alpha less than beta square 3 divided by 2. Then we have phi and alpha. Okay. I maybe should uh, change it in my uh, share that I can write a little better. We have another example. We have another example. We miss x4 plus x minus 1 equals to 17. equals to 17 when x goes to 2. We must check for each alpha there exists beta when x is uh, in that interval then absolute x4 plus x minus 1 minus 17 less than beta but this one absolute x4 plus x minus 18 minus 16 is less than beta but we won't find something we won't find this in in this therefore we are going to divide x4 plus x minus 18 divided by x minus 2 then we have x3, then it is x4 minus 2x3, then it is 2x3 plus x minus 18, then it is plus 2x2, then it is 2x3 minus 4x2 then it is 4x2 plus x minus 18 then you have plus 4x then it is 4x2 minus 8x and you have here 8, uh, 7, 7, x or 
9. Uh, excuse me. It's 9. It's 9. Because this one is going to be uh, positive. It is. Nine x minus eighteen, then you have plus nine, and it's going to be zero. Then then x four plus x minus eighteen. equals to x minus 2 multiplied by x3 plus 2x2 plus 4x plus 9. I'm going to Now we are going to have this one max, maximum of this part, and we have uh, x goes to 2 in, uh, in a radius of 1. Then x is less than 3 and greater than 2 and x minus 2 absolute is greater than 0 and less than 1 and uh, and this part is going to be max max if if x is maximum in this interval, then absolute x minus 2 less than beta divided by 3 power by 3 is 27 uh, plus 18. 27 plus 18 is 45. 45 plus 12 is the 50. I am writing, I am writing that you cannot misunderstand. Plus 2 multiplied by 9 is 18. Plus 4 multiplied by is 12 plus 9. And this one is 39. And this one is 66 then uh, alpha is less than beta divided by 66 We note about something uh, separately from that example. We note about something that if x goes to infinite, then absolute x is greater than m. And if y goes to infinite, then absolute y is 
greater than n. We are going to have another example, uh, and it is uh, and it is uh, limits five five divided by x minus two power by 2 naught is plus infinite when x goes to 2. Then we are going to tell that for each alpha greater than 0, there exists n, a very big uh, positive value because it is positive. So that absolute x minus 2 between 0 and alpha, then 5 divided by x minus 2 power by 2 is greater than n. Then your, this n is positive, then we are going to uh, make it uh, in opposite way, x minus 2 power by 2 divided by 5 is less than n, 1 n. Is this less than? 1 divided by n, then x minus 2 absolute is, is, uh, is less than 5 divided by n and greater than 0, then alpha is less than or equals to Five divided by n, and n is a very big value, but five divided by n is very little value, and alpha is this less than this value. Another example, another example is uh, EMS minus four divided by x minus 1 power by 2 equals to minus infinite when x goes to 1. And we must find for each alpha there exists a, an n positive so absolute x minus 1 between 0 and alpha, then minus 4 divided by x minus 1 
power by 2 is less than minus n. Then this one is 4 divided by x minus 1 power by 2 is greater than n. Then x minus 1 power by 2 is less than uh, 4 divided by n. Then absolute x minus 1 is less than 2 divided by squared n is positive. Then we have find an alpha then alpha greater than equal 2 divided by n squared. And n is a big value. This one is very little value. Another example, Lemus 4x2 plus 1 divided by x2 is 4 when x goes to infinity. For each m big there exists beta positive so absolute x greater than m then absolute 4x2 plus 1 x2 minus 4 less than beta then the right 4x2 plus 1 minus 4x2 divided by x2 equals to 1 divided by x2 less than beta then absolute x greater than 1 divided by beta squared. Beta is very little value, positive value. Then this one is very big value. Then we have find m. m is greater than or equal 1 divided by beta squared. I pause to see another example later. Okay, we are going to continue with another examples that you see also a lot of different uh, different uh, ways. Just a second, please. Now we are going to have another example. Nemes x2 plus 1 divided by x2 equals to 1. x goes to plus infinite. And uh, we are going to tell for each m positive there exists 
beta positive so that m x greater than m then uh, absolute x2 plus 1 divided by x2 minus 1 is less than beta but this is absolute x2 plus 1 minus x2 divided by x2 less than beta then 1 divided by absolute 1 x2 less than beta then absolute x greater than 1 divided by beta then we have find x and because x goes to uh, positive infinity then this one is equals to x absolute x is equal to x then m greater than equals 1 divided by beta square okay we have find this one too now we are going to have another example Lemus squared x2 minus 4x when x goes to plus infinite equals to plus infinite for each m positive there exists positive value n so that x greater than n then this squared greater than n and this is squared because both x and y is positive then then x2 minus 4x is greater than n2 then uh, x2 minus 4x plus 4 greater than n2 plus 4 then x minus 2 power by 2 greater than n2 plus 4 and absolute x minus 2 or or um, excuse me not absolute then x minus 2 greater than squared n2 plus 4 then x greater than n2 plus 4 plus 2 and this then m greater than this and we are going to change this as m greater than or equal to this value
Now we are going to have another example. Limits minus four squared x four plus one equals to minus infinite when x goes to plus infinite. Then for each m there exists n so that x greater than m then um, minus fourth x squared x 4 plus 1 less than minus n no no then fourth a squared x 4 plus 1 greater than n but x positive x goes to really and this part is perpendicular to x4 squared greater than n then x greater than n and uh, m greater than or equal to n. Or another way is that uh, instead of then uh, we can uh, write uh, this one this one equals to n4 minus 1 and uh, x is 4 squared and 4 minus 1 and n m is greater than n 4 minus 1. I hope that you can see the correction. We are going to have another example. Limits x2 minus 4x equals to infinite when x goes to plus infinite. For each m greater than 0, there exists positive n when x is greater than n then x2 minus 4x absolute greater than n. Then we are going to we are going to build a uh, sign of this it is x minus infinite 0 4 and infinite and it is that this value 
x2 minus 4 no it became broken okay uh, we'll stop here see you next or maybe i stay just a second we can stop suddenly Then uh, we are going to draw x minus 0, 4 plus and uh, it is x2 minus 4x and here is positive, it is positive, but this is 0 and here is positive and it is negative. And it is negative. Then then we know that uh, x goes to plus then x4 absolute x4 minus 4x is x2 uh, minus 4x and it is 2x2 it is x2 which is greater than n then x2 minus 4x plus 4 greater than n plus 4 then x minus 2 power by 2 greater than n plus 4 then x greater than squared n plus 4, 2, plus. Then, m greater than equal to squared n plus 4 plus 2. I suppose that we have gone through all those different uh, different uh, I am going to end this uh, part uh, with the last example and it is uh, And it is uh, this example limits x3 plus 4 equals to uh, infinite when x goes to infinite. For, uh, for each m there exists n when absolute x greater than n then absolute x3 plus 4 greater than n we are going to have 
1 x goes to plus then absolute x3 plus 4 equals to x3 plus 4 greater than n then x greater than 3 squared n minus 4 then m greater than equals to 30 squared n minus 4 and 2 x goes to minus infinite then this one x3 plus 4 equals to minus x3 minus 4 and it is it must be greater than uh, N. then uh, x minus x3 greater than n plus 4 and uh, minus x greater than third n plus 4 And also, absolute x is minus x greater than m, then m greater than equals to n plus 4. And this part, it depends on this part. Okay, it was all in this uh, part. We are going to continue with limit. Limit right, limit left. And then we are going to uh, uh, limit right and limit left. Okay, see you in next tutorial.